Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer and... Mrs. Stony Ridge! <laughs> and today is the day we put down seed and we use our TR3 landscaping rake to finish off this section of land. So if you guys have been following the series, we are clearing off a 22 acre section of land up the top of this hill here. We're actually going to leave about four acres in the middle. Uh, this is about a three acre section right here and we're going to give you some detail on what we do, how we smooth out the land with the TR3 rake right here. This is a TR3 from ABI Attachments. I'm going to talk to you about what it does and I'm going to show you all the cool tricks. All right? Stony Ridge. Farm Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. All right, guys, if this is your first time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, welcome to the channel. Pound the like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I ask every time, and that's just what I do. I want you to come back. I want you to see me again. So we're on a, about 150-acre farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, and we're clearing some land, some more farmland. We're effectively going to be doubling our farm size, uh, our pasture size, probably by the end of next year. So lots of land clearing, lots of work, and we're going to show you some techniques that will save you some time if you're doing this on your own property now it's midday it's about I guess about 1 30 right now and what we're gonna be doing is taking really rough land and turn it into really smooth land so the TR3 from ABI attachments is what does the trick so you can see down here this is rough bumpy debris uh, you can see the the scrape marks from the teeth on the bucket of the uh, caterpillar loader here and we've got just some gigantic dirt clods basically so here's a oh, here's one of them this is like a <laughs> 25 pound dirt clod so you see how rough that is now conversely this is what I've already gone over and you'll see it with the drone footage this is what I've already gone over with the TR3 and I didn't go over this so it's a lot smoother and went from a really rough surface of Mars to a really nice surface golf course surface so this will be our seed bed and there are a few things on the TR3 rake that dig and they also prep the seed bed and they also comb it back smooth so let's go look at the TR3 rake and give you some ideas there'll be a link in the video description down below to ABI attachments they just make good high quality stuff got me a free hat <laughs> it's pretty awesome and we'll show you this critter on the back of our John Deere 5065 now this thing is big okay it's a little much for this tractor so we're just kind of barely skimming the top the surface of this but you can see right now it's really rough and pretty soon it'll look like that it'll be golf course smooth rad okay this tool is called the tr3 tractor rake three in one it's a scar fire box scrape and a grading rake that's what it is one eight eight seven 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 eight eight rake so that's what we have here and it looks really really busy but it's actually really really simple this one is i think the eight foot wide version don't quote me on that really for this tractor a six foot or seven foot would probably be the best and the 5065 is around 63 horsepower okay that's stated horsepower i guess so the way this works is you have wheels on both sides and those wheels kind of cruise along the ground these are really heavy duty robust wheels and they have settings okay so there's a pin down here and you can adjust the wheel if you want this to be higher then you adjust your wheel back if you want this to dig deeper then you adjust your wheel that way there is a grader blade on here so that's what this thing's really doing it's raking up with this grader blade and pulling material and brush out and then we'll take that material over on the edge right over here there's a hole and we'll take it and we'll drop it in that hole so if you've got any low spots you're pulling dirt and debris over into holes and you're also busting up clods with this dude right here so these are the scar fires okay and those scar fires will rake down into the ground i've got them set to rake about that deep since we just cleared all this with a loader we don't really have to worry about digging too awful deep but if you had to prep a seed bed on a new piece of land that thing is awesome and it's also great for pulling up old rock and gravel for a worn out old driveway now let's look at the back here 
The way this thing is set up, you can see here I've got a pin in place. This is a float. This floats up and lets your grater blade cruise along the ground, okay? So when you go over a low spot, it stays down. When you go over a high spot, it takes the high spot down and it drops the dirt into the low spot. So this thing is adjustable. I could lock it all the way down with that pin and it will be stationary or I could put it all the way up here and it'll just float over top of the ground. That's what's really cool about this. Now, back here in the back, you've got what looks like a comb almost and it does comb out the land so this is a tool that was used originally invented for prepping new lawns okay and now it's got so many uses especially in the uh, stables and for riding arena so it takes rough dirt like this and turns it into smooth dirt like that and it smooths out riding arenas like nobody's business so that's what this thing's doing it's really working in three different ways, pulling dirt, ripping dirt, and smoothing dirt or soil or whatever you wanna call it. Now, when we first got this thing, ABI came out to the farm and showed us how to use it. There'll be a link to that video at the end of this video, but I'll tell you the gist of basic setup. If you need to rip down a little bit deeper, then you'll move your scar fires down. We have them in the highest position right now. Typically, if you're working up new land, you want them to be about that deep, maybe three, three and a half inches of ripping power, okay? So the blade on the front will pull debris, and then this will rip, and then the comb part will smooth it out. The way we have it set up is where when we set it on the ground, the comb, I call it the comb, uh, I don't know what the guys from ABI are going to be laughing right now. Uh, <laughs> the dirt comb is going to be on the ground and it's going to be touching the ground at the same exact time that the greater blade is touching the ground, okay? And that's what's going to give you that wonderful, smooth, finished product that we are so desiring here. So we're going to have nice, smooth, loose dirt that we can come in here and we could broadcast spread seed over top of this or what we're gonna do later today in the next video, we're gonna drill down seed on this. So we're gonna put a lot of seed down. Now, when it comes to using a seed drill, we're gonna save a lot of money on seed. We're gonna use about a third of the amount of seed with a seed drill than we would if we were uh, broadcast spreading it. However, <laughs> I want this to take quick. So we are actually gonna broadcast spread some millet over top of this, and we're gonna drill down some millet. We're also gonna broadcast seed some wheat, some soybeans. I mean, I'm just gonna hit this with everything I got because I want to establish some type of root structure to keep this from washing. We've got three days of gentle rain coming starting tonight. That's gonna be rad. Let's get the drone up in the air and have some fun, man. Woo! Guys, TR3 and wifey poo. Dirty wife. <laughs> dirty wife, <laughs> dirty Josh. Oh, good gracious. There is a, a lot of dust. 
I couldn't get quite the camera angles that I wanted to get, but the TR3 did an awesome job. This thing, well, you tell me what, what you think. This is like no holds barred. You know, before when we were clearing land, we had to use a landscape rake, sometimes a box scrape uh, or a scrape blade to get all the rocks and sticks and stuff up. What do you think? Is, does this make it easier? Because you, you're the rock and stick girl. <laughs> I know I am. No, it is day and night difference from when we first started clearing land to what we're doing now. This thing is, I mean, this thing is fantastic. It looks amazing. Yep. There are a couple of rocks and sticks that left behind that we picked up, but it's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can see a couple sticks here and there, but uh, that uh, the greater blade on this thing, does an awesome job of pulling up rocks and sticks and pulling them to a spot so what you saw there was me going around and around in circles and that's what works the best so just dragging like doing a lap like you're mowing doesn't work the best you have to do concentric circles round and round and round and that's what takes that rough mess that you saw earlier and makes it smooth like a pasture or even a lawn or a golf course that's what it's made for it's for building lawns so mrs stony ridge you ready to go get the cedar the seed drill we Let's got a lot <laughs> we're eating dirt today man uh next video is going to be fun uh we'll be using the seed drill and getting busy here there's a few things i want to do we've got a ditch cut right across there to keep water from running down to the road and i've got a little low spot right down here i might want to address um but it might be okay i don't know that we're going to have a lot of washing we're going to get about a quarter of an inch of rain over the next day and then the day after we should get another quarter of an inch of rain but this is really really dry so we're going to broadcast seed and we're going to broadcast fertilizer we're going to broadcast um, lime and we're also going to drill down seed so come see us in the next video the john deere is feeling tired right now it's hot out here and we've got probably four more hours worth of work to do and it's four o'clock <laughs> we're gonna eat good tonight right we are we're gonna sleep good too <laughs> yep guys thanks a lot for joining us here on the stony ridge farm today we'll see you in the next video all right Woo! Woo! <laughs> see you next time we'll come on down to the stony Stony Ridge.